Welcome to Eternal Bible Quiz. Today we're diving into one of Jesus' most profound teachings, the Sermon on the Mount. In this quiz, you'll face 25 questions that test your understanding of Jesus' powerful words on topics like faith, mercy, and righteousness. For our first question, we invite you to reflect on the Beatitudes and share in the comments which lesson from them has had the greatest impact on your life. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave your thoughts as we journey through these timeless teachings of Jesus. Let's begin. Question 1. What does blessed are the poor in spirit mean? A. Being sad. B. Humility before God. C. Being poor financially. D. Being spiritually lost. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, humility before God, explaining in the Bible, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5, 3, KJV. Being poor in spirit means recognizing our need for God, leading to spiritual blessings and the kingdom of heaven. Question two. What happens to salt that loses its flavor according to Jesus? A. It is good for healing. B. It is used for baking. C. It is thrown out and trampled. D. It is stored for later use. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. It is thrown out and trampled. Explaining in the Bible, it is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Matthew 5.13 KJV Jesus warns that losing our saltiness or spiritual effectiveness leads to becoming useless in God's work. Question 3. Who will inherit the earth according to Jesus' teaching in the Beatitudes? A. The proud. B. The rich. C. The meek. D. The powerful. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. The meek. Explaining in the Bible, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Matthew 5, 5, KJV. Meekness, or gentleness and humility, is a quality that Jesus values and is rewarded with inheriting the earth. Question 4. Who does Jesus call the salt of the earth? A. The Pharisees. B. His disciples. C. The rich. D. The Scribes. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. His Disciples. Explaining in the Bible, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? Matthew 5.13 KGV. Jesus teaches that his followers bring flavor and preservation to the world, but must remain faithful to their calling. Question 5. Jesus says, Ye are the light of the world. What should we do with this light? A. Hide it under a bushel. B. Shine it for all to see. C. Keep it for ourselves. D. Share it only with friends. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is, letter B, shine it for all to see. Explaining in the Bible, ye are the light of the world. 
A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Matthew 5:14 KJV. Christians are called to shine their light or faith for the world to see, leading others to God. Question 6. How does Jesus conclude the Sermon on the Mount? A. By blessing the Pharisees. B. By telling a parable of two builders. C. By praying for the crowds. D. By leaving quietly. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, by telling a parable of two builders, explaining in the Bible, Therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Matthew 7:24 KJV, Jesus concludes with a parable encouraging obedience, comparing wise living to building a house on solid rock which stands firm in storms. Question 7. What will happen to those who are merciful, according to Jesus? A. They will be shown mercy. B. They will be rejected. C. They will be scorned. D. They will receive riches. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, they will be shown mercy, explaining in the Bible, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Matthew 5, 7, KJV. Jesus teaches that showing mercy to others leads to receiving mercy from God, a key principle of his kingdom. Question 8. In the Sermon on the Mount, what does Jesus say about those who hunger and thirst for righteousness? A they will never find satisfaction. B, they will be filled. C, they will be condemned. D, they will be mocked. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, they will be filled. Explaining in the Bible, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Matthew 5, 6, KJV. Those who earnestly seek righteousness will be filled, as God satisfies the spiritual hunger for justice and goodness. Question 9. What does Jesus say about those who are pure in heart? A. They will never sin. B. They will see God. C. They will judge others. D. They will be punished. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. They will see God. Explaining in the Bible, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Matthew 5, 8, KJV. Purity of heart means living with sincerity and integrity, which leads to the ultimate blessing of seeing God. Question 10. How does Jesus instruct his followers to pray? A. In public for all to see. B. With many words. C. In secret and simplicity. D. With loud voices. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, in secret and simplicity, explaining in the Bible, but thou when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Matthew 6, 6, KJV. Jesus teaches that prayer is a personal, humble conversation with God, not a show for others.
Don't forget to count your correct guesses. Question 11. What does Jesus teach about giving to those in need? A. Give in secret. B. Make it public so people praise you. C. Give only to your friends. D. Avoid giving to strangers. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, give in secret, explaining in the Bible, but when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. Matthew 6, 3, KJV. Jesus encourages giving in secret so that the reward comes from God, not from human praise. Question 12. According to Jesus, what will happen to peacemakers? A. They will inherit the earth. B. They will be called the children of God. C. They will be overlooked. D. They will be despised. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. They will be called the children of God. Explaining in the Bible, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Matthew 5, 9, KJV. Those who strive for peace reflect the nature of God and are recognized as His children. Question 13. What should believers do when they are persecuted for righteousness? A. Hide from the world. B. Fight back. C. Rejoice and be glad. D. Curse their enemies. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. Rejoice and be glad. Explaining in the Bible. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Matthew 5, 11, 12, KJV. Jesus encourages believers to respond with joy to persecution, knowing that their reward in heaven will be great. Question 14. What lesson do you learn from the Beatitudes in the Sermon on the Mount? A. Blessed are the poor in spirit. B. Blessed are the meek. C. Blessed are those who hunger for righteousness. D. All of the above. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D. All of the above, explaining in the Bible, blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are the meek, blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. Matthew 5, 3, 6, KJV. What lesson from the Beatitudes has impacted your life? Share your thoughts in the comments and we'll feature the best response in our next video. Question 15. What example of prayer did Jesus give in the Sermon on the Mount? A. The Lord's Prayer. B. The Prayer of Moses. C. The Prayer of David. D. The Pharisee's Prayer. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, the Lord's Prayer, explaining in the Bible, After this manner therefore pray ye, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Matthew 6, 9, KJV. The Lord's Prayer is a model of how to pray, focusing on God's will, provision, forgiveness, and guidance. 
Question 16. What did Jesus say about fulfilling the law in the Sermon on the Mount? A. He came to destroy the law. B. He came to fulfill the law. C. The law no longer matters. D. The law was wrong. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. He came to fulfill the law. Explaining in the Bible, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. Matthew 5.17 KJV Jesus came to complete and fulfill the law, showing that it leads to righteousness through Him. Question 17. According to Jesus, what happens when we seek first the kingdom of God? A. We will lose everything. B. Everything else will be added to us. C. We will be judged. D. We will be despised. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. Everything else will be added to us. Explaining in the Bible, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6.33, KJV Prioritizing God's kingdom and righteousness ensures that all other needs will be taken care of by him. Question 18. What does Jesus promise to those who mourn in the Beatitudes? A. They will be forgotten. B. They will be judged. C. They will be cursed. D. They will be comforted. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D. They will be comforted, explaining in the Bible, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Matthew 5, 4, KJV. Jesus promises that those who experience sorrow will receive comfort from God, showing his compassion and care for the brokenhearted. Question 19. According to Jesus, what should you do if someone strikes you on the cheek? A. Strike them back. B. Turn the other cheek. C. Run away. D. Shout for help. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. Turn the other cheek, explaining in the Bible, but I say unto you that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. Matthew 5.39 KJV Jesus teaches non-retaliation and forgiveness, encouraging his followers to overcome evil with love and patience. Question 20. What does Jesus say about loving your enemies? A. Love only your friends. B. Pray for your enemies. C. Love your enemies and pray for them. D. Hate your enemies. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. Love your enemies and pray for them. Explaining in the Bible, but I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you. Matthew 5, KJV. Loving your enemies and praying for them reflects the heart of God and helps overcome hatred with love. Question 21. What analogy does Jesus use to describe asking, seeking, and knocking? A. A lost sheep finding its way home. B. A child asking for bread from a parent. 
C. A servant seeking his master. D. A thief knocking on a door. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, a child asking for bread from a parent. Explaining in the Bible, If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Matthew 7:11 KJV Jesus compares God's willingness to answer our prayers to a loving parent providing for their child's needs. Question 22. What should be the focus of fasting according to Jesus? A. Public recognition. B. To lose weight. C. Humbling oneself before God. D. To make others pity you. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, humbling oneself before God, explaining in the Bible, that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy Father which is in secret. Matthew 6.18, KJV. Fasting should be done privately as an act of humility before God, not for human recognition. Question 23. What does Jesus say about storing up treasures on earth? A. It's wise to do so. B. It will bring you happiness. C. Do not store up treasures on earth. D. Only store treasures in the temple. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. Do not store up treasures on earth, explaining in the Bible. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt. Matthew 6.19, KJV. Jesus warns against accumulating earthly treasures, urging us to focus on heavenly treasures that are eternal. Question 24. What does Jesus say about judging others in the Sermon on the Mount? A. Do not judge, or you will be judged. B. Judge others often. C. Only judge those you know. D. Avoid judging the powerful. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A. Do not judge or you will be judged. Explaining in the Bible, judge not that ye be not judged. Matthew 7, 1, KJV. Jesus warns that we will be judged by the same standard we use to judge others, encouraging mercy over judgment. Question 25. What does Jesus say about entering the kingdom of heaven? A. Enter through the wide gate. B. Enter through the narrow gate. C. Everyone will automatically enter. D. Only prophets can enter. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. Enter through the narrow gate. Explaining in the Bible, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Matthew 7.13 KJV Jesus emphasizes that following him requires choosing the narrow path, one that is challenging but leads to life. We'd love to hear your score and, more importantly, your thoughts on how these teachings have impacted your life. Remember to share your reflections in the comments, especially about the first question, where we asked what lesson from the Beatitudes has touched your heart. We'll feature the best responses in our next video. 
If you enjoyed today's quiz, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell asterisk asterisk so you never miss our next Bible quiz. Thank you for joining us on Eternal Bible Quiz, and remember, Jesus' words in the Sermon on the Mount guide us toward a life of righteousness, mercy, and love. Until next time, stay blessed.